Uh, my name is Neil Harbison. Um, I was born completely colorblind, so I've never actually seen color. I didn't want to change my grayscale vision because uh, to me seeing in grayscale is fine. I have uh, actually advantages uh, because of that. Uh, we that see in grayscale have better night vision, for example. We can also see longer distances because color doesn't interfere with our perception of distance. Also, uh, we can memorize shapes more easily because color usually distracts us from the shape. So I can memorize shapes more easily. And also we are able to detect camouflages more easily because many camouflages are based on color. So people who see in grayscale can usually uh, distinguish the camouflage much uh, faster than people who actually see color. I asked Philips if they could send me this light, which keeps changing color depending on how I press it, because I wanted to give you an example of how colors sound like. Maybe I, I could, I, I will use the app so you can actually hear what I hear more or less. Maybe if I turn, I will turn off the light for a second and then it will hear better. Okay, so now the light is changing color. To me, it's changing sound. You will hear it. As you hear the the reds and the oranges are low frequencies, so they sound much lower than the violets and the blues. So then depending on how you change the color, you can actually compose music. Well, as you hear, it's, uh, it sounds very microtonal. This is it. I think this is a, a brief introduction to the world I, I live in since 2004, it's really difficult for me to, to, ex to share this experience because it's happening inside my head. It's a vibration in my head that becomes an inner sound.